thank you India. Now I've been here for two and a half weeks in Tamil Nadu, in Tiruvannamali, the sacred town of many thousands of temples. And this is the place where the great mountain of fire, Arunachala, which is just behind me there, it has attracted pilgrims for many, many thousands of years. And you can probably hear the sounds and I've actually got some monkeys in the trees around here. So they may make an appearance and they may not, but we all want to connect with you um, in this week's newsletter to say thank you, India. Thank you, Mother Bharat, for all the blessings that we all work with. You know, we have the tradition of yoga and mantra, of Ayurveda, you know, of our beautiful kirtan, meditation. And for me, it's really important that we remember the roots of all of this practice. And while we've been here for the last two and a half weeks, we've been really focusing on our own sadhana, on our practice of visiting the holy places, walking around the holy mountain, of visiting some beautiful shrines and of giving back to the projects that are so important to us here. So some of those projects are run by our dear friend Takor Patel. So the World Peace Flame Charity runs medical camps and every month or so, oh, there's a big monkey just walking past. You won't see him because he's the other side. Um, he runs medical camps to help people um, with cataract operations. Um, they give classes to many people. They do cleft lip operations. So um, we took some donations with us for the medical camps. Um, tonight, Angela and myself are going to go and give some food parcels to families who are really, you know, really struggling at this time of year. Um, this time, not just this time of year, but generally life is, you know, very, very hard. And, you know, I think it's important that we come and we thank the place where our richness of our culture that we practice every day, where it comes from, that we honour the culture um, and that we give back in any way that we can. So, uh, yeah, we, we do feeding projects, we've got the medical camps. Yesterday we visited a fantastic school uh, where it's a forest school. So they take local children and they teach them about how to look after the incredible forest um, in this area. And actually Arunachala Hill 50 years ago was totally deforested and now it's completely covered with um, forestry now is it's such a um, a success story so they're really this fantastic school is teaching the children about looking after the environment which is you know it's like the lungs of the world really so i wanted to share some of my favorite stories and videos about india um and <laughs> it may be chaotic it may be noisy it's definitely very hot and dusty, but I hope you can feel as you sit at home, maybe the weather's not as easy for you just at this moment, wherever you are in the world, but I pray that you go home to the source of your inspiration, that you go home to your practice and you find the strength and you find a way to give back to all the things that bring you power and strength. So lots of love. Um, we have just avoided the monkeys. They've all just been walking past and actually they're in, in the trees there. I'll try and film some um, footage for you afterwards, but sending you much, much love and looking forward to seeing you in Wales where we can share this experience with you in the mountains of Snowdonia in our retreats in May, June, July and August this year. So much love to you all. Take care.